This is the Gigantopithecus. It is a giant extinct ape relative that basically looks like a beefed up orangutan. We hypothesize it used to live in China up until two to three hundred thousand years ago. Now the reason that I say it's what is hypothesized to look like is we obviously don't know for sure because nobody's ever seen it and kind of the only fossil evidence that we have is a bunch of teeth and four mandibles like this one. Now that is really not a lot to go off of, there really isn't that much fossil evidence. And I'm gonna give you a second to pause the video and think about maybe why there's not that much fossil evidence. Think, think about why. If you guessed all of the bones were eaten by porcupines, you get a cookie. Yes, porcupines. Now not modern porcupines. Obviously, it's a porcupine ancestor that lived in the same time and area of the Gigantopithecus, but basically porcupines. reason that we hypothesize we don't have more Gigantopithecus bo fossils and remains is because the bones were all eaten by porcupines before they had a chance to fossilize. Now, important to note, they were not eating these. This is a fossil, this is rock. This is not what they were eating. They were eating the fresh bones after the Gigantopithecus has deceased, and then they were eating that, and they don't really eat teeth because they're not very nutritious and they don't have all the stuff they need, and they just left some of the mandibles with the teeth in them. So they were not eating this. This is rock. But the fresh bones? That's fair game. Now, they do this, and all porcupines do this because they need a lot of calcium in order to keep their quills strong and to develop quills when they are babies. Because porcupine quills are essentially just calcified hair. It's hair that has a shit ton of calcium in it to make it very strong and very sharp. And one of the easiest sources of calcium is bone. So what porcupines do, ancient and modern porcupines, is they find a recently deceased and cleared off animal because they are overall mostly vegetarians. They do eat pretty much only plant matter, so they don't really want the meat there. But what they do want is the calcium, so they will take all of the bones and they will take it back to their burrow and they will eat them to get the calcium out. And that is what we think happened to the Gigantopithecus bones. They were all eaten by porcupines. And now I did think I saw one source somewhere when I was looking this up last night. I couldn't find it again this morning, so I take this with a grain of salt. I think some one source said that there were teeth marks on the fossil that were consistent with ancient porcupine teeth like patterns. So that does give evidence that there were porcupines gnawing on some of these fossils. I couldn't find again the source that said that, so take that bit with a grain of salt. But that is the leading hypothesis as to why we don't have more fossils of this giant ape.